They're... <sighs> Especially since he just has just... that logic. He likes you, so he's tugging on your pigtails. Well, yeah, because I have a group of, I had I a group of guys on me, and like since then, it like it's like the more I think about it, the more it like has a disturbing implication that that was the case for it. Well, the thing is, I actually believe that when parents say things like he's doing it because he likes you, I almost believe it because the thing is, boys hear that all the time too, so they think the way to treat girls you like is to go and. Well, it's another thing in, this, in with communication is that I'm a uh, boys are likely to like work like they rough house each other and it, like it's how they communicate. And when they try it on a girl, it doesn't work as well because, like, girls are expected, like, you know, they're brought up a different way, that it's just, like, you know, it's a clash. Like, where it ends up where the, where the boy just really does want to just, like, you know, communicate and everything, but the girl just doesn't understand it. Mm -hmm. um, it it's awful. It is. But it's also, like, you know, everything is a competition for them. Like, if you, like you know, they just, for, like, that's how they communicate. Girls, like, share stuff. They share secrets. Wow! Mm. I think it's that girls are taught to be like emotionally open with each other, whereas boys are just taught to always be emotionally inept. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just different, but like, I didn't have friends until like fourth grade. Kind of. Um, no, I, I I can empathize with that. I've got like, many friends. Yeah, I was really socially awkward because of all the moving, and I was like a gifted student or something, which actually just means I had zero social skills. Um, but at some point, I ended up telling these girls because they asked uh, who I crushed on, and they ended up telling him and the whole class. Oh, here comes Ben. Oh I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> and the teacher stepped out. And well, the, uh, the whole class was quiet, Door, Sora. and he was no like, hey, faces. so is it true that you like me? You so and again, There's still no I was king. so socially Aren't inept you worried? that I said, ah, um, my favorite cut when I said up. no, king told us to go out and he and asked me if I was lying, I said so no again, as as and together, then if I like, see what I this. And then I scratched him. Just gotta believe in yourself. That's yeah. All. Like on. Oh. <laughs> just believe. Mm -hmm. You gotta believe, I believe Sora. Believe. Kyrie believes in you. But yeah. If you, oh, this one right here was like this cutscene here. Like I remember like coming to book it once when I was playing this game for the first time. I like the music here though. Of course, that was in like first, second grade. And here honestly. we have, and here we have the freaking um, kingdom, like yeah. the Keyblade War, turned into a fucking children's story. Mhm. Mm this was it's so weird mm -hmm. how some people, myself included just end up being bully magnets for some reason. Mm -hmm. It's weird, and like, it seems to have like gone through my entire family because it happened to all of me and my sisters. Mm. It doesn't seem to be a thing with me. I feel like it's because a lot of the people seem to have the same sort of temperament, which isn't like a validation for being bullied, but it's like bullies get drawn to certain types of people. They look for the I weakest mean... link. But yeah, this right here, I this mean, is the- I was always the new girl, or the girl that liked to sit alone at the back of the classroom and read a book instead of going Yeah, uh, yeah, that play, was me so. the entire- that was my- the rest of my, like, remaining, um, elementary school. I, was... I have been- I, I used to not even spend an entire year at one school because we moved around so much. Uh, same. Yeah, I've stayed, like, an entire place in the year. I was either new girl, Asian girl, or quiet girl. Really? Jeez. Yeah. Like, I remember hey! the first, the first real school I went to out when we moved into the city. The principal tried to reassure us that it was a small school and that we were going to fit in fine. He said, there's only 200 students here. And I just remember freezing up in terror huh? because there had been like 150 people in the town. What you the saw There had been like maybe 20 uh, students no. at our old school. Jeez. Gary, did you call me? Kyrie. I wasn't used to being like segregated by age or anything. It used to just be like certain teachers would teach everyone at once. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> your breakfast club. <laughs> no, 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 we're also the, no, we're the Power Rangers. We're like the Power Rangers from 2017. The Breakfast Club Rangers. The Breakfast Club Rangers. I just remember that it's my brother's birthday today. Hmm. Well, up anyways, it's time to go to Hollow Bastion now. We saw baby Yay. Kyrie. We saw baby Kyrie. Uh, Kyrie was always the cutest of them as kids. Then Sora, then mm -hmm. Riku. Like Riku is the hottest one now, but he was uglier as a kid. <laughs> he was like he was like he, he was an awkward kid because he didn't know how to dress up. Or do his hair properly? I don't know something about the way his kid aesthetic is just isn't as cute as the other two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh fuck! I got a shirt stuck on my tooth. Oh crap! I'm like munching on some chips and like I got one stuck in between my teeth. Ah. Ouch. Like Dorito chips or? No, it's like a Lay's. Lay's. Although I need to stop eating them. I need to stop eating them. I, I need to say I had chips. chips for lunch, but that wouldn't make any sense to people who call them fries. Mm. You weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are kind I mean, of fries, because they fry. They're deep fried. Yeah. Alright, only sometimes you can cook them in the oven. They can be oven baked. They're chips. Hot. Oven baked? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, oven baked fries. No, I mean, why would you? It tastes gross. I mean, some people don't have deep fries. You can still, like, air fry things. I forgot to buy mm -hmm. item! Wait, I don't even have enough items. And technically, they're still getting fried. True, I guess. I know, to over here, fries are like what you get with McDonald's order. They're like, fries are like french fries, really thin, everything, like the fatter ones. Oh, here comes I mean, the worst yeah. one. Is it thing. potato? Yeah, pota a payo. <laughs> payo. <laughs> I can't eat it. Um, well. I'm just eating grandma candy now. If it's a potato that's cut into like long strips that are slightly squarish or prism like, they're fried, but they're cut thinner and they end up really crispy and they're chips. The chips here can also just be called crisps, like Doritos and like. Later. I can understand that because yeah. they are crispy. Uh huh. Well, the thing is, what if oh, we, what if we just <laughs> obliterated, <laughs> what if we just obliterated chips and called them, <laughs> what if we just obliterated the word chips and called them crisps or fries? <laughs> that would probably work a bit better. Honestly, it gets because like everything that we call food these days, I carry over from Britain. Mm. Oh my god! So, so from here on out, you'll either call them Chris or Fry. Internet is just off in Australia altogether. <laughs> like, we don't Australia talk about Australia. Is awful. <laughs> we don't talk about Australia. Oh my god! Like, if you ever come to Australia, don't think that you'll be doing anything internet wise, like streaming your cool trip away while you hit because the internet is just awful. Like, even in the dead of the city, it is. Is it night flyers or is it like a. Uh... Oh my god, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. <laughs> I, I love you. <laughs> god, Tumblr was such a mess back then. It still oh, is. Yeah, is. I live on I live on Jameson, which is really empty except for like this time of the year when everyone's coming down because this is where the Tahoon Air will. All we've got going for us is tourism and bogans. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! There we go, we managed to go- we managed to get to all about it without dying! 
a miracle. Yeah, it can take me several hours, like upwards of five hours to download one gigabyte or something sometimes. Oh. Jeez. Yeah, that's what it was. That's that how was it used day. to be. That's how it used to be with my like old crap, uh, my fucking internet. I got this new one. That's like if the internet actually lets me download it all the way and doesn't like decide that halfway through that this thing can't be downloaded. Yeah, you know it because of Kyrie. Kyrie's saying, I'm home! I like to think that the only thing Kyrie actually remembered was her grandmother and that, you know, the story she was told. That's the old. Ah, uh, Byron Bay. Yeah, like. So many places I see on TV is like a, t a tourist You're just trap. Just like, oh, hungry. God, I sorry for the local. <laughs> sure, let's hear an Australian joke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An Australian joke from Lola's. I'm interested. Let yeah. Me, let, let me hear it. Let me just collect all of these fucking treasure chests before like shit goes down and I'm stuck in story. I, I, Without a fucking keyblade. Feel the tension rising. <laughs> <laughs> that is a pretty good joke. You know what else is a good joke? Our prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> is he even in the country right now? I think he left. Just something somewhere. Yeah, our freaking president is a fucking joke too. You know it's yeah. You know it's the biggest joke of our entire lives. Tunnel dump. The dump. Well, You're in Jumpa Loompa. The hilarious thing about our current Prime Minister, Turnbull, is that um, he didn't actually get voted in. See, the year that he became Prime Minister, first we had uh, Julia Gillard, then I think we went to Kevin Rudd as Prime Minister. Like, we went through like four Prime Ministers in one year. And it Did they die? No, they just got the boot. Like, this was like, our government was falling apart. People were not happy. People were getting fired because they were like the interim Prime Minister while things were happening. And like, the government basically shut down on itself and then Malcolm Turnbull got voted in. But I don't think anyone <laughs> really wanted to get him. We're walking on water, but water, by the way. Oh my god. Uh, Centrelink. Jesus. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Is is Centrelink basically the same as Comcast over here? No, Centrelink is like the um the the, the government aid office. Like it's where you go to get your like if you're unemployed or whatever you get your however many dollars a month or wow. your student aid or whatever. More puppies. Wow! Oh, actually, that makes perfect sense, actually. <laughs> yeah, for me, I had to wait like an entire day, like just to get get it to download with my old ass internet. Remember when I bought it for the PS4? Madness. Y'all have shitty internet. Not anymore. I'm Especially. like at 11 now. Like, um, well, my brother is the one in charge of that kind of stuff because he actually knows what he's doing. No vessel. And here we come, and here we have the confrontation so where two boys are gonna be petty punks. Uh, so Whacking so around the giant cave. Oh, well, only one giant Nothing cave at the current time, it. I guess. When our world fell into darkness, Bell was Rangers. taken from me. I vowed he I needs would chill. fight he needs to find again, his no matter what the cost. I He's just jealous because he didn't get the, he didn't get the key play because he was too impatient. So here I am. She must be here. Oh, oh house prices. Anything in Australia, econ e economy-wise. <laughs> you, you know what? At least our student loans like aren't as big of a joke as some places. You know, Rico has the awkwardest of um, you know, of do like dodge rolls. It's not even a roll. It's like just a fucking a t flip. Flip away from the danger. So, you finally made it. About time. You cocky little punk. We've always been rivals. You know, I really want to see platforming back in Kingdom me. Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 3, but I've I do hope they just streamline it a lot better. But it all ends here. There can't be two Keyblade Masters. <laughs> what are you talking about? We Let can't have two! <laughs> it's true, Master. <laughs> Oh my god. And here
here comes the hellscape that is this world. Why I hate it the most. Was right. You don't have what it takes to save Kyrie. <laughs> oh, Rico, you poor it's up bitch. It's Break the bitch. Only the keyblade master can open I the can secret like door. Say every line. <laughs> Chase the world. <laughs> Lead me into everlasting awesome. darkness. That's what's happen? coming up. I'm the one who fought my way here with the keyblade. <laughs> you were just the You saw way. Terra with that keyblade, Sorry. dude. You saw Your it yourself. Here. Go play hero with this. Yeah. I'm gonna kick your ass <laughs> after this! It is so funny to know that this little angst lord in front of us is gonna, gonna become like the biggest mum friend of the franchise. Well, of course, he's like embarrassed. He's embarrassed about his past, though, because he was such a he was a dumb teenager. You see, while Sora and Kyrie are probably the people who like leave their MySpace page up because they don't care, Riku is the one that tries to delete everything and then turns bright red and buries his face in his hands. But on his twenty first birthday, they start bringing up screenshots and stuff. <laughs> then he's the one kid who went through a scene kid phase in the most embarrassing way. Tara blessed you with that shit, Riku. <laughs> Riku is the one that makes like a, a, a YouTube vlog series, and then ten years later has to watch back all the videos he did as a kid. Hey, and he's, oh my god, why? You're why right. was I like that? Why? You know what's why really weird you? is I look back on myself and I find everything about me to be cringy, why but then I actually look at like what my old fanfiction.net like profile was and it didn't have any of that copy paste stuff it was literally just hey yep. i really like these things and sometimes i write and draw and it's so plain and i don't know i i just well, yeah i got rid of my copy paste think... shit finally i got finally got rid of it Riku with the raw means i love you and dinosaur kid Riku was friends <laughs> Oh god. I like never really did the copy paste stuff into fanfiction.net because um when I moved to fanfiction.net it was in 2013, like after Quizilla got shut down. I was on oh, Quizilla. That until, was 2013? Like, 2012. Shit. Yeah, like I don't know if it's more or less cringy that I was around Quizilla for that <laughs> moving on to fanfiction.net of all the Um, I was on Quizilla for um So Riku was a lol so <laughs> random kid. About two years max, I think, and I definitely moved before 2013. So that's pretty interesting well, there. That's what. That's the year I started. Up. Oh my god. Um, and then I was on AO3 before it hit one million uh, um, accounts. I, I, I don't even I, know I how had, I like, found a whole AO3. Celebration for that. I don't even, I'm not even sure I how I, I found. Joined. I think I joined AO3 in 2014. I'm not actually sure because the account I'm on now is not the account I was on at first. So I lost the password oh, for my original AO3. Hold on, give me a second. I need a fucking um. Uh, okay, you get you get in um uh, frequently and um uh, yep 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 only an emergency. There we go. I joined in 2012 on AO3. Yeah. Um, you yeah. could probably look I think up it was 2012. Account. I think I got- I think it was 2012, 2013 for me because I know because that's- I used it to, um, uh, post up, uh, fucking, uh, facade. I, I think it was around 2014 for me because that was the- yeah, that was the- yeah. Oh my god. Like... Oh my god, Luna, this is just that reader up. insert shit. You go to Luna. Oh, you you just go to Luna Essen for reader inserts. That's basically what the oh. rule of thumb is. You just go there for reader inserts. At least I was never a walk. I, I was on DeviantArt. Um, I tried going on Wattpad. Like, I tried going on Wattpad, but I couldn't. DeviantArt is like the hardest shit to find any actual fan fiction on. But I don't know why anyone would do fan fiction on DeviantArt. Like, like, no, you don't do it. You don't. You did. Like, there was. It's inconvenient, but. It was really... Oh my god, what the fuck? It's very rudimentary. Um, like, Are you it's where you go when you're definitely a beginner, and it's really hard to, like, link things unless you do it manually. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I just what realized... Said, even if it's not a reader insert, you know it... It kind of spiritually is a reader insert. Oh, you mean like every Naruto? Yeah, you mean like every Naruto X? I'm a fandom that's like a fucking self-insert always. 
Yeah. Dark Tax Harem. When I actually went to check out the website, see if there's anything that I like wanted to get because like you can get the app and read and stuff offline. It was all like one direction. I should like. Into... I pretty... should. I need to like. Oh, I should. Okay, I should yeah, probably let you know. Me. I should probably let you know that I'm uh. I get attacked for shit. <laughs> I have to the oh my you know you, I think that means I'm uh hold on I need to get rid of I'm uh fucking uh, I need to get rid of a uh, strike ray there we go that's the name that's the name I forgot the name for a second I was about to say the sonic ray but that, that's the sonic same. ray <laughs> I still haven't got it so like that one but yeah let's see which ones I can use oh give me that shit well, what is the GameCube game uh for Sonic was it like Sonic Adventures? I think it, Sonic... I remember Sonic. Was I Sonic was... Heroes? I think Sonic Heroes was one of them. Maybe. Well, the one I'm thinking of had like a hero and yeah, um, a villain side. I think, yeah, like that two was. Two stories that oh. you could play. And then you were supposed to finish both of them so that you could get like the main story or whatever. Uh, I think. Um, I think that was. I think. I think that's Sonic the. No, wait, no. Is it Sonic the Hedgehog? Not Shadow the Hedgehog! I meant that! Shadow? I'm, I'm not sure. I think and might have got it. Sonic I think Adventure we'll look it 2 up. Battle? I Maybe. don't know. Um, Speaking of GameCube though, you know um the Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn I think the game? <laughs> <laughs> was selling, there was a copy of selling $390. My brain is somewhere. I don't even know where it is. But I tried to type GameCube and I wrote uh uh Cube Gam. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I know Shadow was also for PS2, because um I got it and it was like a terrible game and looking back at it now. PS2 game to say it is probably my favorite generation of gaming to be honest. Where am I even going, by the way? I don't even know where I'm going. Oh my god, that's every world now, I feel like. <laughs> I know that, but this is like seriously it. Well, well that's, you know, Hollow Bastion is a world that's really easy to get lost as hell in. Just the only end got it, right? It's Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Um, and. Wait, why did I bring that up? Oh, because you were talking about Sonic Raid and Strike Raid. <laughs> Word Yugi Lilith, yes, thing. yes, we want another Australian yeah, joke. Yeah, it's a joke. Is it me? I am the biggest Australian joke. <laughs> uh, uh. I hate region locking. We never get them. Yeah, like, like remember, like again, remember when File Mix used to be just like, you know, a Japan only thing until now? Yeah. Yes, the chows were the I, best part. Like, honestly, I, I love the chows. I remember um, that I was so happy that the original Nintendo DS was not region locked, because that meant that even if something could get released in Australia, I could still buy it yeah. and have it sent to me for overseas. Yeah, because but I sold like, you a... 3DS, it's region locked. Yeah, I sold you a freaking... Um, uh, I sold you an American, and like, you know, uh, and I have, like... On one hand, you can at least buy the shit from the other, like the e shop, but on the other hand, like with that internet. Yeah, no, um, I actually I talked to some friends I know, and I managed to get them to secure me some cheap deals, which is how I got my Fire Emblem games of Fates and Awakening and uh, Bravely Second, but not default. Everyone I know, like, everyone gets, like, ends up married to fucking crop. Except for Kuro, who's with the Kellum. Don't, don't, honestly, don't judge me. <laughs> honestly, Krom may be eye candy, although I don't see it, but he's such a bland character, to be honest. And that's why if I like him, because he's like, he's a I'm, fucking I'm dork! Not gonna he's like, like, I'm not gonna lie, I married Krom for his arms. <laughs> <laughs> I really Krom because he forced me into that marriage and like I like I'm sorry but I like the family we kind of had now and he's it's just funny. But also like um also I feel like his children would be the only reason that I would marry him. 
Yeah, but like, I also just feel like with um Lucina, that scene where in where you know of Sacred Blood, where she talks and admits to Crom that she's his daughter. I feel like any mother but Robin gets treated really badly in that scene. For like their characterization just gets thrown out the window. Yeah. I mean, I if saw. If I ever played as a male Robin. I'm not sure who I would marry, honestly. I, why am I even bothered to fight these fuckers? I, I'd probably marry um, Han, actually, because, you know, she wants probably more than one kid, and that'd be an interesting way to get access to a... Uh, you know, if I didn't marry Chrome, I probably would've married John. I would marry... marry Anna. Marry Anna, but there's no but you don't Yeah, that or Henry. Yeah, that or Henry. <laughs> I would marry Maribel if I could be a girl and marry Maribel. Because I feel it in my heart, she's gay as fuck. Oh well I'm like um in faith. I played as female Corin in both Birthright and Conquest. In Conquest I married Odin and I wanna if I if I could I would fucking I marry oh right. right. If I, I could, could but, like um I would marry, uh, yeah. um, I would marry, like, Azor, yeah. Azor. Yeah, in Revelation, I actually was like, you know, I want to marry Azura once, at least, so I can be a male Corrin, even though I really do to. But I was like, I don't actually want to try and do the gay hack, I don't want to hack anything. So then, like, because I couldn't marry her, and, um, um, uh, uh, I was like, I'm gonna find you the best husband, so now I'm still trying to decide between Silas and, um, uh, fucking, uh, Kaze. I like Jacob more than Silas, honestly. Yeah, that's why. That's why. <laughs> that's why I married him. Um, uh, that's why I married Jacob. Honestly, um, I I'm really upset that Flora didn't get more opportunity because for S supports because she has like, a canonical crush on Jacob and he seems really torn up about her whole, whole situation. And I also really wanted to see um in Revelations at least maybe a Flora support with Leo because I feel like. With their path, they would have some interesting interactions. And I can't really play Fate because that whole idea of uh, family and friends. I only have birthright. Yeah, I so, have birthright too. Um, I, to be honest, um, I actually hate birthright. Like I despise birthright <laughs> because Same. I was like, I was like that. I, I think I'm like, lost again. Norse siblings, like no siblings were more of a family, and then the way that birthright sort of ruined their writing and ended up with them made me like genuinely upset, and I just hate it so much. I regret playing it. Mhm. Mm like I just did it. I just did it for the fox boy. Like, I have nothing against the Hoshido siblings, I think they're nice characters, but I hate Birthright itself. I feel like the Hoshido siblings, um, weren't written that way. Like, they were adorable in their own right and stuff like that, but it, they, it could have been definitely improved upon. They just weren't and as the lovable. About, no, and the thing about the Birthright, like, the Hoshido characters, is that in their game, a lot of the Nor characters that got completely switched around in their writing from the first six chap first five chapters of the game and of Conquest, like Xander, as he was written in Birthright, is not the Xander that I know in any other route, and that really got me upset. Oh yeah, I would also marry Charlotte. I would marry Charlotte, but I, I would marry Charlotte. Like I don't know why, like busty blonde again. Like I, I say, I have a time with busty blonde. I was split between Silas and Jacob. And that's probably one of the bigger reasons that I haven't finished the game is because I can't decide, and when I can't decide, I end up dropping things. Yeah. That's, that's a bit. Hey, Emma, Blue's all like Decisions? Blue's husband. No. Blue's husband is Emma. Um, uh, Blue's husband is um, Takumi. <laughs> my friend, um, my friend Megan, like she's probably like, one of my best friends. Yeah, she's totally. Takumi trash, and I'm just like, oh, I don't like him, but you, you do you. <laughs> like, if there is a character I outright just do not like in any fate, it's, it's him. I'm sorry. I'm he's, okay with him. He's a he's, he's such a jerk, though. Exactly. <laughs> I don't like him. Like, 
he could have loosened up eventually, but he just did. <clears throat> He's such a tight. Yeah, yeah. Like I prefer Ooh, Revelation for the fact that. Bad? I haven't finished Revelation yet. Probably because of the whole like Azora thing. Cause that's when you find out she's your cousin. He he's such an asshole. Like honestly. Like honestly, with um, Birthright is the one I like writing fan fiction for more from what I've like written so far. Simply because Leo and like I like dealing with the aftermath of Birthright with how it ended. But canonically, Conquest is just better all around. If you ask me, it's it's the true route. And I still like Revelation. Spend time with your son, Leo! Leo is the best character. <laughs> I love uh, his son. My husband say... for um, Awakening was Kalam. Yeah, cause you, because of like, what the heck? I'm trapped in a box! You know, one know. of the things that tends to happen outside of um, the game itself is everyone literally does forget Kalam. That's why yeah, I marry him off with I marry him off with Churchy because she's the only one who never makes a comment about like you know, uh, the, uh, like you know about him like you know like just appearing out of nowhere. She's the only, she doesn't mm. say I that know. she she likes his armor and she calls him cute. Mm. I um married him to um Aunt Palm. I really like their support. I thought. The thing is, in every ending, except for the one where he marries, uh, the Avatar, um, he's lost to- all of his records are lost to time. And that I think that's so depressing. I do think that Leo and Thor's support does get progressively cuter as it goes along, but... I love my- I love my fashionista son, the forest. The curls really did, like, bring out the, like, his beauty. My favorite kid from base is probably Ophelia. <laughs> Every support she has is amazing. I was definitely more invested in Awakening than I was in Fates. Um, I feel like I was more in, maybe invested in the story of um, Awakening, but I felt myself more drawn to the characters. Mm. Except for she. Simply. Sorry. <laughs> uh, what was... There's this word written that girl. Was um the one with the, the little sister? Was it Hinata or Sakura? No, Sakura. Sakura. I believe Sakura. I believe Hinata is a different character. Sakura yeah, was my favorite. I think the... she was. She was. I think she was one of the few well-written ones, honestly. Mm -hmm. But, but like, I'm um, also terrible with names, so that's why I forgot. I ended up. I ended up. I ended up sort of like pairing off a borrow with um. Uh, uh, fucking like oh no, no uh, not a boro like what was the name again like a freaking Orochi with um uh, fucking uh, Subaru whatever like Hayato or whatever his name is like look because of the way they were like fucking yeah, like everything was a competition like they were making yeah, potions yeah, at one time and they were just like they were just like fucking like what the like what is this like sort like you know cliche bullshit right here. I mean. I get the. Uh, I haven't played Echoes yet, so I'm not sure how the most, you know, new ad addition to the series is. But like, in it's general, like save the series. It saved the series, but at what cost? That's a sort of question that's sort of moot, if you ask me. Except, like, thinking the same thing about Final Fantasy 15 or anything. Like anything past 10 really, where it's like, well, they managed to pull it off and save the franchise, but at what cost? It's just always going to be like that. that. People who will like it. I still don't like the wolf skin, I'm, uh, like the way they look at as in their monster farms. No. I want to play Echoes. I really do. I just don't have to. I can't afford it. <laughs> That's part of the reason why I am not super fond of Camilla. But just her character is a trope that I am not that good with. And her design is good. 
Yeah, Black with her, it's like, she's like, I, I don't get the hype, like, honestly, like, she's, she looks nice, but, like, again, I prefer Charlotte, if I gotta pick a character. The hype. Like, sh The hype is boobs. <laughs> it's basically the hype. Oh my god, how the fuck am I gonna get out of here? I'm, like, stuck in here. God damn it. There we go. I reckon that Sacred Stones is probably one of my favorite fire emblems. And then, um, gene Genealogy, if I say that right, of the Holy War, that was pretty. What they add is that in Revelations, you can shift them with their counterpart. Oh my god, get me out of here, beast! Please help! I can't attack these fuckers! Well, I can if I do that, but it's gonna take a while, and like, I, 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 dro I dropped the staff. Beast! Right there! Attack! I don't even like, I don't like, the, the little sisters characters, like, I don't honestly like them that much. Uh, Sakura, I, I like her mostly because I'm, uh, like, because of the way, like, uh, fuck, what was his name again? Like, that one dude, uh, shit, like, you know that one dude priest guy who is, like, very lazy? Azama? Yeah, Azuma. Azuma. Like, I, I kind of, I started to like her because of the way she, the way he doesn't put up with her shit or, like, whatever shit she's done. Azama? Yeah, Azama's like, see, he's, like, roasting her the minute, like, the minute they're, like, Fucking support starts is like what? <laughs> it was just interesting to me. Genealogy was pretty good. I just like the only reason. Cool the only reason I even got awakening is because I heard like, oh, customization. So for me, uh, I looking at the new Fire Emblem I was really sick of seeing my friends and just like draw art on Tumblr and me just like get this pretty work. I had no idea what was going on. I really wanted a 3DS to play games. So what was going on? <laughs> and honestly, like, you can say we you want about like anime and wife and bullshit, but the gameplay is still really fun. I know, like, it's, I know Zama kind of roses everyone, but when it happened to Sakura, it was just like somehow so satisfying. Because I had to like, because I had to like, I have to carefully bring her around because she can't fucking attack shit for shit. And that's what uh, I hate about like, the healing characters. Like you have to like basically piggyback them until you can like get them like move to a different like more offensive the moment, whatever. The moment any healing character hits level ten, like with most of my characters, I wait till they hit level level twenty to like, you know master seal them. The moment any healing character hits level ten, they are getting master sealed to something. Mhm. Mm because I just hate like pairing them up to their husband husband or wife or whatever it is that I'm going for and then switching characters to heal every now and then and then getting one shot in that same turn when the enemy phase is. My biggest regret was still marrying um, Kijel, like um, a yarn to Kijel. Like that's my biggest regret. <laughs> so I, like, I don't really have I any saw... second generation ships except Morgan and Nah. I like to put, I like to think that I'm uh that uh, I like to think that I'm uh Kijel and Yarn are gonna get a divorce and I'm uh Yarn's gonna end up with my son because I didn't pair him up with it when I was too busy playing the shipping games I left my son alone I've abandoned my boy. I still feel really terrible that Cynthia doesn't exist anymore because I married off all of Sumia's marriageable. Options. Yeah, that's what it, like my original run was like I actually married Lucina to Yarn. I married him. I married them up, but then like because I accidentally saved because before I could save Severa, so I had to start over because I lost Severa permanently. Uh, the, the game doesn't want me to recruit an ego. I have tried eight times and tried to die, but every other time it has been something out of my control. Like my mum wants me to go do the laundry or something that makes me put down the game and go do something else. It doesn't want me to recruit an ego. Yeah, it's basically an ego is like my problem child to recruit. Well, like, he's not that hard to recruit, but the thing is, if you want to get the most out of the chapter, you have to make sure he kills five enemies at the very least and still lives to the end. Mm -hmm. 
that is so awful. Yeah, and you go, and especially his mom, if his mom's there, like because like she's so frail. I know. Honestly, I was just like That's as much what... as I'd like for Olivia to recruit him. I just like no, Olivia, you're not coming on this party. Chrome can do it. No. <laughs> Oh Your shit, that's- Oh fuck, that's right! Revealed to me the Disney Crom for this shit! Yeah, um, Crom didn't really work on the island when I was doing it. You had to have his mum. Oh. I love my- I love sure my baby could. boy Morgan. I love Morgan because he's so easy to recruit, honestly. Honestly, one of the only- one, I actually- I also like- I also like the idea of the Kana twins and like, you know, in- oh, and Fates. It's like- I love my chil- I love my children, I'm sorry, I also- I also love Dwyer, or Deer, or whatever his Dear name is. God. Like, Jacob's kid. I, I love Nob, I do not love recruiting her. Her chapter is the most awful, it was worse than Severus, I hated it so much. It took me nearly three hours and like 80 turns the first time. Oh, here comes the first recoup fight! Yay. Speaking of difficult, horrible things. Yep! We're in this, especially as I'm doing the Kingdom Key Good run. You can. On proud mode. No. This is where the best the section of the game does start, though. The this hula hilarious. skirt! The wrong, hula Riku. skirt! Where are you? The but Riku, but with body, heels. But he can't touch my heart. My heart will stay with my friends. I'm praying for your own, so her stay solid. Uh -huh. Really? We'll just see about that. I love how Star was willing to fucking like die for that and Riku was about to kill his friend! Riku, what are you doing? <laughs> it's the puberty. The hormones are driving him mad. Meanwhile, Sora's voice is just starting to crack, the poor little squeaky boy. That's my headcanon for like all of Chain of Memory. Yeah, again, like ever since like I thought about it, like Sora's voice cracking the entirety of like Castle of Living is still my favorite thing. Lark King never hear letting him hear the end of it. Oh, Axel like just laughing his ass off because it's happening to Rodman too. Oh, I guess you're stuck with us, Sora. Thanks a lot. Donald. Nice. Goofy. How will you fight without a weapon? I know now I don't need the keyblade. My friends are my weapon. power. My heart. <laughs> Your heart? Uh. What good will that weak little thing do for you? God, you're such a cocky Although little boy. My may be weak. It's not alone. Well, I say it's little, but he's taller than us. And it's found a home with all the friends yep. I've made. I've told them make part of their heart just as they become I'm sure to tell. And if they think of me now and then, oh, yeah, they won't forget uh, me. Kuro, did I tell you about how I'm like I, uh, how Sora's taller than me by like two centimeters? Weapon. My friends are my power. Yes. Everyone's tall. Everyone is taller than me. I don't know, how old how tall are you, Kuro? Like four foot four. Five, five foot three. four. Oh, I thought you were five foot four. Mm. You're taller than me. Am I the shortest person here? Probably. I blink between. Actually, it's um it's fun. Because even though I'm not the shortest at work, um for some reason I find it extra hard to race me. Even compared to the people that are shorter than me. Uh, that's like the worst part about restocking the library shelves and the game. I usually just climb the shelves. Oh, I forgot a freaking equipped strike rate again! Oh, <laughs> uh, get suffer. Oh, shit! This one time, uh, No bully, no bully, no bully! And, um, Break your no bullying! I didn't actually work in Kroger's. Um, oh my god! The, Fuck uh, off, Riku! I worked at the coffee shop. Oh my god! Riku! That. Um... But I had to run to the back of the store to grab supplies. And people would randomly stop talking. Ask for someone to And I would never fucking know, because I don't actually go in the store. I'm just at the coffee shop and they come in. Um, this is not the coffee shop that you're one... looking for. <laughs> but one woman asked me if I could reach the last bit of juice on the top shelf at the very back of And I looked around through the aisle, here's one. 
I couldn't find any of the other associates that would probably be at least a little taller than me. And I told her to wait just a We're like, it's like we're fucking and dancing! I yeah. ended up climbing the hill and getting it further. <laughs> I told her not to tell anyone that I did. I like how, like, Riku and I were just, it just looked like Riku and I were just fucking dancing with the way, like, I, I, like, was dodging his moves. The stream has frozen for me. Oh, shit. 2000! Is it frozen? It has frozen. Like the stream has frozen for me personally through the internet, but where it froze was with Riku about to whack you over the head. Oh, okay. One thing about games mm -hmm. is that if you consider it, mm -hmm. some games are just Show like um, rhythm games. Battle. Yeah. Yeah. This is a dissonant. And you know what a real Finally, we got White Trinity. Of Dragon God Three. That's, that's it. Oh my God, yeah. Because you only got like two healing items at most. Oh no, the actual final, final, nice. final fight of Dragon God Three is a rhythm. Good game. for you, Yuki. And... Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. All right, 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 all right. I was totally thrown because you'd gone from this hack and slash game to suddenly a press with precision timing. To beat the battle boss. And the thing is, the camera is your enemy, you can't rely on visual cues. You have to, like, just basically close your eyes and hit Who is time. ready for a fucking bunch of mini, like, puzzles? Because this isn't the, the entirety of this world, just, like, getting through it the first time. Yep. The and fucking... then getting back down it, you just have to throw yourself off the edge, or it takes forever. Mm hmm. That's so fucking. This place is, like, fucking hell. Like, I'm pretty sure it's, like, it must be hell to a lot of speedrunners. Actually, I want to know which is, yeah. what, for speedrunners, which is the actual problem world for them? Is it Atlantica? Hmm. I don't know. D did I tell you about that speedrun of Persona 4 that was done in well, how much? Seven hours. How? Seven hours. How? Like, I don't know. So I thought like I, maybe it was a bit longer, but it was definitely like either jump above the double digits or just under it. I don't know, seven is not but it was like done that quick. And I guess with a speed run you don't technically have to do all of the story, you just have to defeat the fire game. I gotta wonder what sort of hack they pulled out for that though. Like for oh, me I'm pretty sure I have a feeling that like just doing the dodge four. roll is one of the things. You have to do dodge roll. Like because it, it, it speeds up. But um they did golden for that. I think it was just a persona four speed run. It's done ridiculously fast. How many speedrunners do you reckon get used to doing a speedrun in a certain way because of a glitch or something, and then they get an updated re-release on a new console and that glitch has been patched and fixed and they can't do it anymore? Oh my god, Sora, right there! There's a book right there! There there you go, there you go, Sora. Gosh, Sora, you need to read some more books. <laughs> god, our bitch will just does the voice Even better. Even to read. Takes me like 70 hours to do it a good thing. Like sometimes I can take up to 170 hours on a quick run. How the hell did they not? Game's done quick. I remember that one post, like, you know, and there's a saying, like, it's like, you know, because of Final Fantasy 7, but like, Final Fantasy 7 will like literally take you hours to beat. You gotta understand, like, like it's, you find the fastest way to do it. Like when it comes to speedrunning, it's also like um, uh, it's a game that they know well. <laughs> ten hours yeah, for bad. Yeah, uh huh. Bad end is ten hours. It's like fifty six. Wow.
I like to think that Zexion probably like loves this place. Like he probably, like Enzo, he probably, he probably napped around the area a few times. I still want to know what was Kyrie, what was Kyrie doing in here? So like, because of that, I kind of hit Kenan that she's like, I don't know, like related to Athens the Wise in some way, like the, his daughter, his grandchild. Oh, I've always thought that was like, I don't know about grandchild, but maybe like great grand niece. Not that old. It's because like he's not that old. Yeah, but I also don't feel like he's the kind of person to would have had kids, so like maybe his Kyrie's grandparents were his older sibling. Like he probably had a kid, but like she's dead. Well, that's a lovely backstory. I know <laughs> his wife died. I no, his wife died just because I like had a kid dead. Or he could just be Kyrie's normal uncle. I think I feel like I remember getting lost in Holy Bastion for weeks as a kid. Yeah, like, I, I got through this first place, like, again, like, aggro was my fucking problem world where I, I got lost as hell. Well, like, these days, if I get lost in a game, I will just go, you know, search up a guy, but back in ye old PS2 days, I did not have the internet. To yeah, like, I just, like, I remember that, yeah, I remember that, like, I was wondering, like, what the hell are they talking about when I looked it up? Like, what the fuck is this supposed to mean? What does it mean? What are these, what do these mean? Ow, fuck my legs. Ah, uh, yeah, see, see, this is all just a fucking puzzle. <clears throat> fucking hell, how do we even work this shit? Give me the treasure chest. Give me treasure chest. The AI hates me. Finally! And that all for a mega potion. Really? Really? A fucking mega potion. Here, what? Mm, nothing. Uh, well, like, I always wonder what were those glowy things up here, like these things up here, like, what the fuck were these? No, wait. There's, like, little things. Like, you know, again, like, again, I, I just, in any case, Kyrie's a fucking, like, she loves it. She lives in this place, and I like to think that, like, she and Anzo were kind of like siblings. Aww. But uh, at the same time, I also like to think that, like, I'm a, like, I guess, like, I, I carry this elaborate fucking headcanon where, like, where, like, Lee took care of a bunch of kids in the area with, like, with, um, uh, Isa. And, like, the reason why he's, like, you know, yeah, why Isa... Say... Yeah, it's because Isa's all, like, picking up more strays. Like, you know, he, he it ha it's, like, he's, he's talked to him as if it, ha if it has, it, like, if it's not his first time happening. Like, you know, it wasn't the first time. I Isa walks into the house he shares with Lee, and he just looks up and goes, is that another kid? <laughs> no. It's two it kids! It's two kids. Back where it came from, also help me. Hey, yeah, another thing that probably kind of annoyed me is like, you know, like why I'm a uh, Axel would like, you know, abandon I well, like Sykes. Is like the thing is, he doesn't know what happened to Sykes. He's just like all he knows is that his friend just suddenly started changing, and like it's like he doesn't know anything. Shit. I think he knows something by Kingdom Hearts Three. Yeah, he would know, but like he's like wondering, like, what you changed, Isa? And it's like, is it? Did he do it willingly? and become one of the Xehanorts, or like he didn't did know about the whole Xehanort thing? But he, all he knows is that like it was like he still did things for him, but he's like, this isn't like he's probably deep down thinking this isn't like you. <laughs> yeah, and then like so I'm saying, like in Kingdom Hearts three now, you've got to be thinking that like Lee, as Lee, would be wondering, was it just because like was it a gradual thing, and then Isa Sykes so agreed to become noted, or was it forced on him? It was probably it was forced on him, considering like haven't you noticed the, the scar on his head is like on his face? That's X X shape. At first I just thought he was like you know 
but it, like it was forced on them then. It makes me sad. I hope they actually do something about all these characters to, you know, help them. Kingdom Hearts. I'm trying to look for these goddamn books. <laughs> Children following you around like that. <laughs> I can't remember! I love how Ed's pointing out, like, you know, the end volume. Like, I'll only Ed would point out the end volume that Eddie looked for. <laughs> like, that's just funny to me. Alright, it's on the floor, it's on the floor. Hey, what the fuck? I am like. I'm just running. I'm. I'm. Oh my god. I, I feel like an idiot right now! It's, it's there! I feel like. I feel like the Persona 5 what? speed run would be a lot bigger than the other ones because of how the dungeons are set up. Oh my fucking god, I am an idiot! I feel like such a dumb- Oh my god. See? I don't think you're an idiot, you're just distracted. <laughs> it was right there! It was right there in front of my eyes! I want to believe! Properly, yes. But like, in, in any case, like, when, you, when, you, when your friends start to like, be, like, you know, start changing personality, and you, and you try to stay as long as you can, like, it starts to about, like, at what point it must have turned into a toxic relationship. That makes me so sad. Mm -hmm. Like at one point, like you know, like Lee just cut himself off from it because like the way, like it was it was definitely not Sykes' fault either. But like the way he was like the way he was acting, like it was like pushing Axel away. And plus, like na like Axel's inclined to help like he, those younger to him too. These poor boys, they just deserve only good things. Never. This is why you don't you, you never. I swear to God, you never put on my any any Xehanort with a kid in a room. No, that just leads to bad things happening. Unless it's like, like, yeah, every kid, like, every, like, like, Xehanort just, like, everything about Xehanort just, like, fucking screams. Like, you know, he's gonna, like, he's gonna corrupt the child. He is a bad person. He is Uncle Bad Touch. Yeah, he, um, he fucking, like, you know, he's a good manipulator. He's a good he's manipulator. A he took advantage of Terra. Ah yes, the new body. <laughs> he is he is a very good Emperor Palpatine XP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing about him. Like usually, they, if it's a, if it's around a certain game, it, like it's usually by um uh, the whole speedrunning is because if, if they know if they know like a game that's similar to another one, Force. like they're likely to do it like you know another speedrun for another Christ. one. Holy fuck! That's 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 fast. Mm -hmm. 97 at the end of the day, home! Is, How many more puppies do I have? I know that there are Zelda games out there that have been finished in ridiculously short time. I know, like, so, like I know, <laughs> I know, I know a speedrunner. can get you done really quick. I know a speedrunner by the name of Mexican and Bass Monkey, and then, like, he does Pokemon ones. Like, one of them, like, I think he set a few world records for them. Like, I don't know, like, it's... But, like, I, I helped them once out with, like, you know, with, um, uh, I got a Poke... I got a freaking, like, Pokeris, um, uh, Pokemon with Pokeris from it because I helped them out. One person that I physically know defeated Breath of the Wild um, within two days of getting it because he decided to buy a bunch of uh, Guardian arrows and just take on uh, Ganon. How did it work? <laughs> was he naked? Was he naked though? Was he naked? I, I, I assume he was in the starter stuff because he literally did that as like one of the first things. He didn't even get any of the... Uh, Memories? The, well, he Dirty didn't get the memories, but he didn't even get the divine beast. Look at this! Look at these pop He literally prints. just got a shit ton of arrows and went a, <laughs> went to town. Look at the, the look at these fuck? look at these pop prints, guys! Look at these pop prints! I'm almost I almost found all of them, guys! I almost found all of them. So cute. Oh yeah, this yeah. is like the fucking hellscape of a world. Like I hate this place with like a passion. Like. Soon. Like, this is gonna be the first time I collected all the puppies, by the way. Because, like, 
Because, like, I hate this world so much. When I was a kid, like, this world scared the shit out of me because of the way, like, Car like Heartless would pop out. Oh my god. And here's the thing, you can't skip these. We might be able to skip cutscenes like now, but we ha we can't skip these. We have to, like, deal with it all there. I heard that takes the end kingdom hot three. It was so annoying. <laughs> yeah, like this stuff. Uh, uh, fuck this treasure chest. There we go. I do like that you can like pause and skip cutscenes in this version though. Yeah, because otherwise you're gonna be uh, 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 not Clayton like all over again. I like. I swear to God, <laughs> I like. I have so many bad memories. Like, lead me into everlasting darkness, Sora. Oh, I'm glad I never played this. Uh, I got stuck on the final boss forever as a kid. Like, uh, I, never I think I actually the... handed it off in the end to yeah, my never... brother. Uh, yeah, I looked, I looked I the rest like... of it up. I looked the rest of it up because after a certain point, because I couldn't get past, I just looked the rest of the end like up like on LP online, like on YouTube. <laughs> well, when I played up Kingdom Hearts for the first time, I was like nine years old. Yeah, I think it was younger. I think, yeah, it was. I think it was like. It was the year that Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, but I played Kingdom Hearts 1, so I was like 9, 10 years old. Yeah, I started with the first game, like, there was only one game that came out, like, you know, at a time. It was like, I was literally there, like, I kind of followed the series, like, that came out. Like, although, like, I, like, I skipped on, on my chain of memories because, um, again, I didn't have a Game Boy! See, like, um, I did have a Game Boy. Chain of Memories was the first game I technically played, and I, I never beat it at, on the Game Boy version because it was hard when I was young. But after that, when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, I managed to convince both Yeah, check out the KH speedruns! I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure for the KH speedruns, mm. it, it like, Cyberman, either Cyberman or, like, BizKids probably got it down. Because I know, like, with, um, like, it's so weird because, like, like, freaking Cyberman and, like, Biscuits, like, they both got the final mix, like, situations with, like, you know, the extra bosses. I guess the question on how long a speedrun is okay is if you're just doing a speedrun in which you count getting the final bosses end of the game, or if you count 100 percenting the game to be able to say it's a speedrun. Someone did a 100% speedrun of Breath of the Wild. I don't remember how long it took. I think it was, like, five hours. Uh, like, oh like I'm pretty sure 24 hours, like oh, something yeah. around like less than 20 hours. But when you think about it, again, like obviously to, for to just the battles, obviously the boss fights and stuff aren't that hard. The biggest problem would be like getting all the weapons, getting all the clothes. If you're not counting DLC. Even. Yeah, Cyberman's yeah, um, no damage runs. He's got the no damage by runs. By 100 percent, like. like 100% it's all of the Fire. side quests all of the weapons Fire. and um i think all of the main enemies and stuff like well, it was 100% like and um the entire run is online so you can actually view it and everything i haven't yeah, looked at first... it personally Cool, but like the um the most impressive gaming thing I've ever done. You um you know the Witch's House, that little RPG maker horror game that came out a few years back. If you do a uh, no save run, yeah, yeah, you do the no save run. Two hours, you twelve get... minutes and fifty eight seconds, Mist Master. Holy shit! Jesus Christ! I wasn't aware it could even get lower than like fucking um begin. Oh. Someone, what's like, what's the, what's proud mode now? Cause I, I like, oh my god, this has gotta be like a ridiculous, like, I, oh shit, I just realized I'm gonna do a critical run on fucking P. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I hate myself that much to do You're a critical gonna... run. I'm gonna die. At least uh, don't do a kingdom key run. I don't know, maybe do a kingdom key run. No, I can't, and then I, uh, yeah, actually it is possible to do a kingdom key run. Just like, it, like in that game, it's actually so fucking possible. Thunder. Mm. I do like using the other keyblades, but like two become one, two. But I kind of want to use all the keybates in that one. Thunder. Wait, well, it's right there, sir! Right there! Right there! Uh, yeah, but uh, um, the Witch's House, if you do a no save run, there Thunder. is a special ending. Yeah. And when I found this out, I was tempted, I was really tempted, oh to just God. go look it up on YouTube, see what the scene was. But instead, I decided to play through the entire game myself. And with no this master is definitely died, the cage person. Like again, like as I mentioned it before, like there's a, there's one person who's like if the, the minute they're in like you know 
and they can do one speed, like you know, one for a game. They'll they'll figure out all its like you know its mechanics and everything. And like the scene you get for the no safe run is like five seconds long. Was it worth it? Probably not. What the fucking hell, like. Like I know, oh my god, I'm probably gonna- I'm gonna hate Marluxia's fight because he's got the count- the doom counter. Uh, from, from this one, are you gonna do Chain of Memories or are you gonna hop straight into KH2? No, I'm gonna do Chain of Memories, I have to, I didn't beat that game because of fucking Axel! Ooh. Axel 2 is like so notorious for various reasons. Part of the reason that King- the March Chain of Memories is one of my least favorite games. I just find the battle system itself, not even the enemy necessarily, but the battle system itself is just so difficult. 100% problem. But wait, wait, what? I just realized. 100% problem means doing all like. Holy fuck! God, so quick. That's a short thing. Jesus. No, like. Fucking hell. Like, you have any idea how, like, the fucking. Like, the 100%, like, a. Uh, you know, like. Just is that. Like, you know, this game, too? Especially on you know what's really annoying about some platinum trophies these days? Like how they require you to spend a certain amount of hours in like the online mode of a game or whatever. Fucking hell, how do I activate these? How do I work these again? Oh my god, I feel so... Gosh, deadly dang it. Yeah, I already pushed something not to break it. I should know this! This is like the easiest- Oh, my fucking god, it's right there! <laughs> oh, also, so I, um, I misremembered the 100% speedrun. It was 50 hours. Jesus! Not five. Yeah. <laughs> but it goes through all of the side quests, um... That's still and really, all really of the short memories. at the time. Wait, but I can yeah. stand that there are like, like Ganon runs where they hit straight to Ganon could be quicker, but like 100% there is a lot to Fucking naked runs, like, the, every, yeah. like the fact that that's like, an actual I've, thing is amazing. I've played near 70 hours now, and I haven't even gotten all the vines yet. Like, getting all of the shrines just by themselves. Oh, no, yeah, no, 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 even worse than that! No, 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 the and them, uh, Korok, Korok seeds. Getting all the memories, even. Because there are some places where it's like, okay, you can't go there until you've got proper gear. Yeah, yeah like, for, like, like, have you seen Nico B? Proxy. Especially with how Nico B was, like, you know, oh. fucking, like, dying in places. Like, he's because of the fucking stock Guardian stalkers or whatever. Uh, they're still, like, such annoying enemies. Like, you're, like, walking around and all of a sudden music changes, like, god damn it. I really hate those ta uh, tag those fucking rocks. I know that Benvin was having issues with with the fucking Yiga warriors. I mean... Yeah. Yigas, it's just that you have to be careful whenever you walk up to someone on the road. But you can generally tell that they're Yiga... Uh, probably headphones cut off. Finally! Why? Aw, oh, look, mine? Riku's acting like an actual no. teenager. He's losing his cool. The heart that is strong and true. Oh my god, That's Riku, for the love of- <laughs> Riku, for the love of god, run out of that room. Right now, it's not a good this idea to stay around him. Weaker than his? For that instant, it was. Riku, Riku, step away now, Riku! You can become stronger. You should. You know, we're gonna have to be dealing with freaking. We're gonna have to be dealing with like Xander going submit! It held no terror for you. How old is it? How old is Riku in this game? 13? 15. 15. 15. And your heart will No, 14 is Sora, right? 14 and it is Sora and Kyrie. What should I do? Yeah. Riku, for the love of God, run. See? Like, there it is. Xander just Open fucking manipulating him. Stranger danger, yes! Let your heart, your being, become darkness. Ah, yes, the new body. Plunge deeper into the darkness. Bad touch, bad touch, woo, woo. Not that! What should I do? Not that. Not that. 
I can't do that voice, it's so deep. Oh, oh yeah, we hit it. Oh my fucking god, these fucking things are here! I have issues with the bad touch, bad touch, bad touch. He's a, he's a, he's a stupid teenager! His hormones are going all over the place, it, at the time. At the time, it was it was it seemed like a good idea when he was the his most vulnerable. They're teenagers. <laughs> they're teenagers. That's that's why. God, for the love of God, like these guys need therapy after all of this. Riku needs to Wait, spend time. Some teenagers, some teenagers think underage drinking is the thing to do. Riku thinks going into the everlasting darkness was the thing to do. Yep. Lead me into everlasting darkness. I mean, that's pretty hard for I mean, uh, it's definitely a teenage rebellion in style. He's got aesthetics now. He's, peer, he's easily peer pressured. Peer. I mean, <laughs> is it really peer pressure? Or what is it? Adult pressure. Creepy old man pressure. Creepy old he's man not pressure. technically an old man here, since he's, but he's still fucking old. I mean, peer pressure Nobody knows. Um, implies that they're actually your peers. Well, it kind of is their okay. peers through association to Malef Maleficent. Not Maleficent! <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck was <laughs> I saying? <laughs> Maleficent, <laughs> yes! <laughs> ah, yes. Tara's also like a fucking dumb, like, he's like a dumb, like, barely, not even an adult, barely. We are all peers. Tara's also got the excuse that he was sheltered, like, like the thing with him, uh, like Master Eric is like really like stunted him with his belief system. Okay, but like the thing is, they are not came from the Destiny Islands originally, right? Yes. It'd be really cool in Kingdom Hearts 3 to get the opportunity to go back to Destiny Islands and ask anyone if they remember everything about him because of anyone alive. I want to know that. Him. I want to believe. Oh my God, he's fucking wyverns! Can can we go find like? Day and all its family, in our defense, we got. In our de in, in in Terra's defense, we also got like um we also got um a fucking um uh, what's the word again? A dramatic irony on our, on our side to like know that that's a bad person. He doesn't though. Yeah. <laughs> this man doesn't look evil at all. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, especially not like especially person. like he he looks he trusted like the freaking evil twin from like Snow White. He was like she was shady as fuck. He was like okay, and he's like I think bitch, I think not. Like when he like asked him to get her heart, it's like what? Like. I don't know. So especially... Okay, like, look, look, one look at how they not move, use his fingers in both ways. Like, you should know that he isn't an upstanding. Like, I mean, the other reason why is because he took advantage of the fact that they, they can trust him. I mean, they trusted him. Semi trusted him? Especially, you know, he's like, he, he's a, he's like, he's a, someone, um, uh, who um, uh, Eric has considers a brother, and it's like, oh, so adoptive dad's considers this guy a brother, so he's my uncle. Okay, I guess I can trust him. Never trust an uncle. <laughs> it's because, especially since like I'm a freaking um, a Xander actually like, also took advantage of Ericus, like you know he wanted to actually like you know reconcile, reconcile or whatever, and it's just yeah. And again, everyone thinks he killed um, uh, he, he was the one who killed um, uh. Ericus, but again, that was actually Master Xanar. He took advantage of when he was on his lowest. Xanar just yeah, finds Terror fucking. Pulled back by that. No, like. Terror wasn't gonna do anything. He just it like, got it you! Like, it was like Undertale. I feel like Undertale took some um, cues from the book by sleep scene. Because it was like, at that point, Terror had given up and showed mercy, and then Xanar, well, you know, Blowy. Like, He's a fucking Blowy of that situation. Back. Before things get better, like, Blowy just destroys it. New game theory, Flowey is Xehanort. <laughs> I mean! <laughs> I mean, really, think about it. Think I want to believe! Flowey is canonically just a, a vessel for a soul, so maybe that a soul is Xehanort's heart. I want to believe! <laughs> I kind of want to draw I art of that now. I want to believe. The truth here was all the conspiracy theories we made along the way. Oh, someone made a new AU! A new oh. AU time! Is this a, and I just, is this a new AU? I believe so. 
on the task, Kingdom Hearts. Sora would on honestly, you know, uh, Sora would no, honestly. No more AU. Sora no would more fucking. AU. Sora would never, fucking get along in the temple never, underworld. Never For Undertale, there is. I'm so burned out. Yeah, I've never really been big into the Undertale fandom. Like, you know, but yeah, Sora would get along very well with Frisk. I was too deep for a while there. Too deep. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even play Undertale for myself until Neither last I. year. Like, I was kind of okay with it, but like, the fandom got a little bit unbearable with the way, like, you know, wow. Like, it was not even, like, some of them, you can tell they're not even kids, like, having, like, you can tell when kids are having fun and when they aren't. You know, like, seriously, just from what I was hearing that was coming from the Undertale fandom, that was, like, and what I was seeing in, like, comment sections on YouTube, that's when I sort of just, like, yep, this is not the fandom for me, and then I backed away from it, like, I backed away. I also didn't like it for the fact that, like, I'm, uh, why was everyone, why did everyone want to fuck the skeleton? God damn it! Yeah, I thought I was never got he, he's not, I still don't get that. Why? I mean, Sam's was my favorite character. I don't wanna fuck it though. And Chloe knows my dark past. Yeah, dark past! <laughs> <laughs> um, there's this one thing with uh, Persona 4 and um, Undertale where Teddy actually falls into the underground. You know what's also weird? Like but fucking know, like the Yasha crossovers. That's another thing that was. Yeah, I I swear God, I wasn't nearly as bad as with the Bronies though. Like that's a, that's an actual thing. But like the thing was about like that like was it's just that like Undertale was like its fandom was easily like you know the way it was it sucked your energy out because of like how like prominent it was. And like the people Undertale. in the fandom were completely serious about what they did, and that's what was really scary. Like, the mm -hmm. threats they made, they felt like they had real passion behind them. I was real passionate about it, but like the self was good, and then the fandom took it, and they made. Um, well, like it was like um, I wouldn't say it was as far reaching as Homestuck, but it was definitely um where it was more concentratedly worse than Homestuck. No, like, but the thing is, like, especially with the LPs, the LPs, like, everybody immediately, like, I know RPG means. Me absolutely hates it because of how everyone reacted to the way when she actually killed someone. Yeah, so, that's a big thing, but I was scared talking online that I was playing Undertale because people were always like, hey, you gotta play pacifist, then genocide, but you can't play the other way around, you can't kill anything, you can not kill anything. You can you literally you cannot, I swear to god, you literally, I don't think you can, you cannot play on um, genocide on the first run, actually. That is not like, no mercy run is like, not. You have to unlock it after you beat the game. I'm pretty sure you can just go straight in a genocide run, but after that, no, it's because like the game will lock pacifist run. But like, to do a pacifist run after that, you have to uninstall and then reinstall the game because it remembers that you killed everyone and therefore you will never be able to do a pacifist run. That's what it is after you've done a genocide, you can't do a pacifist ever. Mm -hmm. Which um, is why you, you have to do an actual like hard reset. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, the game goes super fucking bad. Which is super 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 but honestly, I can never do the No Mercy run, because, like, I just can't. I actually did start doing a No Mercy run, and uh, it was, like, the atmosphere was so awful. Because, like, I'd watched a pacifist run playthrough, but I'd never seen a genocide playthrough. Gen uh, genocide playthrough. Genocide right? Genocide a show! And I got... Um, I got actually, to, um, I, a lot of people have been insisting... Um, a lot of people have been insisting that um, calling it a genocide run is probably a bad thing, which is why people coined it the No Mercy yeah. Run. Yeah. Oh I mean, fuck I it. Oh my god! I almost well, died right there. The, the, the route where you don't stare anymore. I got to Paris and then I just had to quit because I couldn't. I couldn't anymore. I was. Okay. Oh my god! Fire Emblem has Kingdom Hearts. Holy shit. I think it reads a face like that out. I do remember that. I'm not sure if it's any good. By the way, I was like looking at Nier Automata crossovers and I'm like, who, who, oh boy, an awakening, like Fire Emblem Awakening one. And like, I ended up getting this story where I had no idea what the fuck was going on. It was like some sort of fucking like, like, who the hell is this dude? What the fuck is going on? Like, 
Why are you talking about your other stories and like everything? Like, what the fuck? It was just so bland. And like, I didn't even get it. I thought like the focus was supposed to be like on the character, not your freaking OC. I'm pretty sure there's like a. There's a Original characters, but you gotta have like a bit of a balance between them and the canon. Yeah, like if you just shove it into it, it won't work. It has to be a balance. Like AO3 is good for splitting up your story. AO3 is good for splitting up your stories because you can immediately connect it to it. But with like fanfiction.net, you have to like keep the stories connected. Oh, I remember I was giving like, I, I, back to like, you know, when I was writing fan fiction, like, you know how the school was like, they like take their own like classes. I think I had Zora down as a warrior, like, good not imagine for shit. Which, which, which ended up reflecting my choice, what did you know, which ended up reflecting my choice that I'm, uh, I dropped the staff. It's funny, because um, in the playthroughs I usually do with Kingdom Hearts, I am really bad at remembering to hit things. I generally spam magic as much as I can. Yeah, I, I still find it funny. Like, I was saying, like, fuck you, magic. You've never done anything for me, and all this entire room was just me using magic. It's been what's saving my ass. I'm pretty sure, like, down here, like... I'm pretty sure that down here, that's where you fight the unknown. Like, you know, fucking Xemnas. Lord, man, six. I think you know. I, I still like the fact that, like you know, re, like that freaking Nico V match, like turned that old, like you know, fucking like you know n name thing on its like you know, make it funny, like you know, treat it seriously. That's what makes it funny. Oh my god, like, I know I know for fucking sure that, like, Kyrie would be, like, w like some sort of, like, you know, she has a sword or, like, a battle axe. She'd like whatever Lissa is. Like, what was it again? No, 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 the fucking... Um, war cleric. War cleric, there you go. She'd be a war cleric. She'd be a war cleric. Like, she can... She, 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 like, she'll heal you. She'll heal you, but then she'll also attack. My, um... My first awakening run that I did, I made Lissa a Wolfo. Because the thing is, their defense stroke is one of the most ridiculously high ones. After you get them up high enough level, like, <laughs> even if they get whacked, it's like hitting an iceberg. And that just amused me. The, the idea of Lissa wielding a bad attack and not flipping. It's being a sword for Oh, Kyrie would be a lord, though. She would. Oh, actually, no, like, awakening, uh, like, she'd be, she'd be fucking Robin. Sora's prom. Everyone think it's the other way around though, because of um uh action. Holy shit, he actually put someone like Shion! Shion is a Robin. Oh my god, no! Sorry, I, I forgot to heal. I need a heal. I'm just going in like uh, wait, did I even I, did I even touch this one? Oh, there we go! What the fuck was in there then? Hey, fuck you guys, I'm out of here. Oh shit, I just Yay. walked into a boss- Oh, Shion is a tactician. Dolan is a sorcerer. Caval yeah, so, Vent would be a cat. Would he be? The path has emerged at last. Yes. The key I feel like someone would be dark. like a Pegasus Knight, Sky Knight. Who would that be? Mm, I'm pretty and sure that might be Aqua, will maybe. This world. She'd be like, she'd I mean, be the tome wielding Pegasus Knight. Like, she'd be wielding a tome, like a dark. Yeah, she has got like double flight, so that would work. To rule all worlds. Although, Vent is. Yeah. Oh my god, I think Terra would be a definitely like, one of those a fucking Yama. Uh, oh. Tanks. Fuck. Oh. Impossible. Yeah, she's a dark fire, that's what it's called. Here. It must be her. Without her heart, she will never be able to release her power. I can hear their voices melting and it's creepy as fuck. 
The king's fools that are actually here. terrified me as a kid. Yeah, I was like, what the I fuck, Riku? Like, it went from me being like, god, oh god, Riku, you're so annoying. Oh my god, Riku, what's happening to you? Why are you like this? Why are you like this, Riku? And then so when you find out, like, in, oh, right, it's fucking Xanor. Xanor is just a toxic influence that, like, latches onto you like a fucking, like, you know. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, oh my god, what if- Welp! If it doubts you, is it? Welp. Here comes the first Maleficent fight. I love how Donald still has a high potion on there. Like, Donald, you've been saving that high potion up for a very long time. Good job. Hold the high potion. Oh my god, okay, I've got- Oh, hold on, I gotta- I gotta steal ship and beast. Cause I am wrong. Rob your allies. <laughs> Rob your allies of all of this, flies. Axel is a fucking dancer. You can't convince me otherwise that Axel dances. You are the fire. <laughs> just okay. turn the crit, just turn it like you know. Just turn that suck into a fire okay, like, the, the college AU, who who kicks ass at Dance Dance Revolution and who fails? <laughs> oh what, yeah, what Do Dan makes me the song stress. He's gonna he's gonna yeah, have a nice looking bet, though, kid. Like, at Dance Dance Revolution, Kyrie and Lee would get the most, like, they'd, they'd be having fun with other people, but then they hit the mat at the same time, so it makes them a serious, competitive thing ever. I- Oh yeah, I still hate that thing. Like, fucking- Let me- Let me make- Let me make freaking um, uh, fuck, what was his name again? Uh, shit. I forgot his name! Uh, fuck! Uh, uh, Olivia's kid! Like, let me make him into a dancer! An ego? An ego! There you go! Like, oh my god, I know his name, <laughs> but I forgot it! I'm like that. Like, I forget shit. Like, I, I, like, I should know his name. Why don't I know his name? Like, everything. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I need to get rid of one of these guys. Dennis would be... Okay, Demix would be a dancer, and his like one repetitive catchphrase voice line would just be dance, water dance. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! Are you are the ocean? He's the Okay, that is a ridiculous mental image. He is the He just wears the outfit, rocks it somehow. Okay, so like Demix would be the dancer, but Roxas would be a songstress. <laughs> No, I did pretty sure like no like rock actually no Ventus would be the dancer. You know, because he dances. I feel like Aqua could be a dancer too. Like all of her moves look for like ballet almost very Yeah, great. like with her, like that's the thing. Oh yeah, by the way, I mentioned it once a while ago, like how I mentioned how I'm uh I did it like I was watching like Nico B take on the unknown and like I noticed how like every time like I'm uh Zemnis was moving. Like his movements were like dancing and like who else like reminded it that reminded me of and that was Aqua. It was like Tara, is that you in there? Do you miss her? I'm afraid you're too late. Alright, bitch, let's throw down. The final keyhole will be unseen. This world will be plunged into darkness. It is unstoppable. We'll stop it. After coming this far. There's no way we're gonna let that happen. Yeah, we've, we've gone this far with you the kingdom key. We can't stop now. Fools. You think you can defeat You've me? You've got this, Noah. You can me, totally kick ass with that giant thing. Gosh, it's been a... I'm 
up at them? Are you gonna knock me off or anything?
use the high potion too, but no, it was the elixir. The minute I saw that MP go up, I say, oh no. here right now I refuse to die Sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Stuff. How much? I don't have. Are you shitting me? Nine thousand, nine hundred and thirty-seven. Oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me? I'm so broke. All right, I'm gonna buy some more shit. Yeah, I was screaming a lot. Them over my YouTube, but ah, what kind of snake? Oh, it's Louie. Let's see what I can sell.
Yeah, sorry if I'm quiet all of a sudden. I just need to. Holy shit, that fucking scared the shit. That fucking really. It was so tense. It was not fun. No one needs to go and experience this amount of. Ugh. I can do white turn it. Wait, isn't there a white? <clears throat> Given Donald a new way well, yeah, I have, but I still haven't given him a better weapon than that. I'm sorry, Donald. I'm so sorry, Donald. Okay, for this one, I have- I'm definitely summoning up. That's like the only way I can fit- I- I can possibly think I can get through this spot. Oh my god, we've been through 24 hours now! This fucking cutting too. Riku. A keyblade. Yes, a keyblade. But unlike yours, this keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Mm. Allow me to demonstrate. Behold! Now, open your heart. Surrender it to the darkness. Become darkness itself! This power! This, is it. this power! <laughs> darkness! The true darkness! God! I just had to go through this one so many fucking times. I have issues. I never used Tinkerbell because when I heard about like she'll that she can like she can only like you know like basically sacrifice herself to revive you once. I thought it was a permanent thing. Like I didn't realize that it only it happened. It's just for that battle. I thought you lost the ability to use it, so I never used it. <laughs> I cannot get through this fight without Tinkerbell, that's, just, that's what I remember.
healing them! Because they don't believe.
say my prime time life goal would be to make a mom friend, but I'm not omnipotent and prepared enough to be a mom friend, so that doesn't really work.
my god, this is some fucking tits to fight him! Not have done that she without was just Tinkerbell. another puppet after all. What? The heartless <laughs> oh, using no. Maleficent I'm from back. the beginning. I just beat it with the spider. She failed to notice I the darkness the in her heart eating away at her. A I really like looking at food. writing dash prompt dash s because it has some really wild shit. One of them specifically. You have an ATM that gives you the exact amount of money you need to survive for the day. How you spend it is your choice. The day you are given 70 million. And then someone comments with it. Ah, just enough to pay for my college tuition. Ah, uh, here comes the next infamous fight and I'm, I don't have enough money for this. Here's up all my fucking items. I have 37 money, I'm that broke! I guess I have to put a few elixirs in here then. Oh, hell no. They're welcoming you back, by the way. <gasps> I'm level 45. I'm gonna, like, go, um, uh... the one, guys. There's Snow White, there's Alice, there's Belle. What? There's a final 15 mod where everyone is cactuars. <laughs> <laughs> there's 
There's Aurora, and then there's um, uh, Cinderella, who I called Snow White at the beginning. <laughs> and then there's Jasmine. Gosh, Alice stands out so much by being a princess of heart. Everyone's like, yeah. And then there's Alice, just this little girl. Is that even royalty in any way? So small. So small. She's so small. Okay, let's see what I can put on Sora to make him better. Yeah, I have a holy circlet on me. Yeah, like Sora's wearing a circlet. Alright, time for the Tendaga ring. Let's see what's... <laughs> Alright, here comes the one that's given everyone's issue. Lead me into everlasting darkness! Kyrie's Kyrie's a princess? Princess of Heart still sleeps. You know what's weird? Mm -hmm. Kyrie's a princess. Everyone, yeah. Snow White. Yes. And I get her another power, like. The keyhole will remain on incomplete. One it of is my time she awakened. Mm -hmm. For an old fan. Whoever fandom. you are, let me wow. go. I, I guess heart. that's not really that weird. But first, but you must give the princess back her heart. But it happens at any time of year, and the yeah. reason that it yeah. is weird. Yeah. It's because it's Don't you see yet? Um, the a mystery school animated New Year's drawing from 2015, and the drawing itself has um, taking up Kyrie. half of the drawing. Kyrie's uh -huh. inside me. Kyrie's inside me. 2015 with an exclamation mark. Mm-hmm. Tell me. Oh my god. In, it, it is I. Definitely for the I years of Seeker of Darkness. The Seeker of Darkness. It's been three years now. Well, There's no way you'll t I'll let you take play. Kyrie's heart. I'm sorry, it's just like I'm. I'm this is the one scene. Like, the, I. This boss here is so. <laughs> we're back when we couldn't skip so, cutscene. This one right now, here. Princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness. What's with this fucking cape? Or... Uh, it's a, I don't know, it's like a fucking... Sarah! He could've dialed that so much better. Forget it. There's no way I'll let There's you take... There's no way you're taking me Yeah. Heart. Like, I remember when I was writing fanfiction, this is the one scene where, like, I, I, I had to bullshit my way to create, so I could create my fucking, my, uh, oh, she's nobody, and it's basically, she took a hit meant for Sora, and that, like, her fucking heart went into his, and for that brief more time that happened, a nobody was created after, like, <laughs> fucking hell.
just see right now. We can just see this is this is like the face of someone who's had to endure this fight so many fucking times.
close. They're so close. <laughs> So close. With that fucking tiny nipple of health. At least I don't have to fucking. Oh my god. I can skip this cutscene.
heal this. This is literally it, we're dancing. <laughs>
now I was searching for my pen while fiddling with it, but in my other hand, so I didn't notice where it was. kicked at the be very beginning. I have never like lost to against a boss more than like twice. It won't work. The keyhole's not finished yet. What can we do? Maybe we gotta go wake Kyrie up. Like I don't know why like with my with my Kyrie's twin sister Oh see I was like at first I was just like gonna fucking like I ended up was gonna ship her with Riku, but then I realized, wait, that wouldn't make sense since she and Sora are traveling to together. Heart. So I ended up shipping him with Sora, shipping her with Sora. Later on, it like it turned into a that was like in the beginning. I somehow, so I surprisingly had a following for that though. Like everyone liked that OC. Sora, hold on. Like she's still around. Aw, Sora, no! Sora sacrificed himself, like... Can you imagine how horrifying this is in general? Like, holy... Sora just stabbed himself in the chest! No, you mean at Roxas and Nominee. Falling, falling into darkness. But yeah, like fucking hell, like I had the fucking twin, like twin OCs. It was Sora? like, think of it now, it's still kind of awkward. Are you really? No, he can't be. 
Bad touch, bad touch! The keyhole is now complete. You have served your purpose, but now it's over. Fucking run! Do you think we can stop him all by ourselves? I don't know. Impossible. That's no. what you get. You won't. Use Good me job, for this. Riku! Good Riku. job, Riku! Good go boy. Run. The Harless are coming. What about the keyhole? Ah, oh, this sore. Look at this. Look at this. Do you see this little tiny shadow? Look at the tiny shadow! Woo! He's so small! Like, I honestly just want to hug him! Do you see it? Do you see this, Kuro? Mm. Do you see the precious small baby? Teeny. He's so small! Look at him! I just want to pick him up and hug him! <laughs> This is part of the reason why Fred became a thing because I thought how these things were so adorable like this, like when they're not trying to kill you and everything. Mm. Like my, like my, like my, like it was a shadow, like Fred the shadow was just this like, um, uh, this one OC, like again, like a shadow that kept it like humanity of sorts and I loved that I loved her so much. Like they're honestly adorable. Little beady eyes right there. Like they're not that creepy when they're not trying to kill you. That's basically it. Mm. They have a cute hop too. Look at that. Oh my god! <laughs> you run. Look at what happens when you walk slow. I know. Yeah, that's honestly, like, I had, like, there was another one. Like, I had an entire family of these fuckers, like, you know, of, like, these things that just kept their humanity. Actually, oh my god, I just remembered my OC. I, I, I called her Ace. Because she used to be a gambler nobody. But, like, she was, like, I don't know, like, I just forgot. I just remembered that she existed. Holy shit. Like, she was this gambler nobody, like, she, like originally she was, like, a much higher level, like, she was actually, like, one part of the organization, but she got, she was the one who got demoted, she got demoted to a gambler. She had control over sound. So she wasn't no longer part of it, but, like, I don't know, like, Zigbar kind of sort of raised her, and she kind of lost it after fucking, like, you know, Sora killed Zigbar. But that was basically it. That was my OC scum. I had another one who was like a dancer. One of them was like this fucking like was what originally one fucking person, but got split into three. Like a younger form, an older form, and a, and a mid in the present stuck in like frozen in time. These were my OCs, everyone. 
and the fitting a majority of them were ended up being Vocaloid references. Because I'm that type of person. But yeah, Fred was mostly there just to be adorable and for um uh, for my OC to just like hog and everything, because uh, because yeah. Wow, a lot bigger than I ought to be. Ow. Sora, is that you? This time I'll protect you. Shadow. I want Kyrie did what I wanted to do years ago, hug a shadow like that. Go now. Come with us. I told you before, I'm not leaving without Bell. Now go. Mm -hmm. The heartless are coming. All right. Let's get out of here. Hey, Sora, did you know that there's another person in your heart? Oh, yeah, him. Oh, yeah, I remember him. I thought he was an imaginary friend. Tell me what happened. So the darkness is flowing out of that keyhole. Mm -hmm. No wonder there are more and more hearts. I forgot about the weekend way. raid event. The only way <gasps> Shit, what one is it about? Which one? Like, the keyhole, right? Valentine's? Maybe. Eh, no one I don't knows know. Like, I hate the monster for sealed. that one. Mm, well, we can't just, I just stay here. The, uh, we have to do experience. something. I've got a friend back there. Wait, oh, yeah, you're not level 300 yet. That's right. You have one more friend mm -hmm. to worry about. Riku's Keyblade must have been born of the captive princess's hearts. Also, I'm really like ridiculously prideful, saw. so I want to be um, heart, in the top three of our group mm -hmm. every time. <laughs> Once that Keyblade was destroyed, mm -hmm. I need to the keep remembering to log in constantly. Free. Don't worry, Sora. Seriously, though, mm -hmm. Leon sounds like a fucking friend, teenager here. Like you can. Cage too, like did a good, like his, I like his new voice actor in Cage too, because he sounds like an actual adult instead of like some sort of angsty teenager who who wants who misses his home and shit. Hey Kyrie, Kyrie, hey buddy, hey buddy, hey hey. Oh holy shit, you're smaller than me. She is a teeny. Sora, are you a feeling teeny. okay now? If you're not, if you're not, then say so. Oh my god, that's adorable. She's actually so worried about. This. Oh my god, I want to just hug you. There's an upright metal challenge. Yeah, I can't even do it. Holy shit. That. So, have you ever tried to battle a level 1,200 guard armor? Uh, yeah, no. I think I might have gotten close to one. It's, it's one of the events. It's an expert challenge. Yeah, I don't even bother. Like, we are not like on that level ever. Yes. <laughs> I want to hug you, Kyrie. Gosh, you must miss Ventus already. Like, hey, Vent. Like, every once in a while, hey, Ventus. <laughs> I'm out of there. Thirty-seven money.
Oh god, the Hades Cup is opened up. Uh. I need so many of the, uh, Mickey and, uh... The Mickey Evolution medals. Time to spend time with the puppies. Look at these puppies, they're so happy. Having a bad day? You need puppies. Mm -hmm. We're like so close to getting to ninety nine. I'm gonna. I'm sorry. I, I spend more time right now, but right now we need to like hurry up so we can get more puppies. Cause at this point we can get them all now. Assuming I didn't missing any. Oh my god! Please tell me I did not missing any in a fucking. Of course I missed two in Hollow Bastion. Of course I did. Of course I would miss two there. that my OC ace around and I'm um, like uh, again I called her ace because I'm a uh, fucking uh, gambler nobody very loud I think later on I kind of made her like I'm um, uh, like deaf but like she might she could still like feel vibrations all that shit since she can control sound and shit so in a way she could technically sort of hear Sometimes we're like when we when we're not so busy though. It's because like there are times when we all get into it when we can. Yeah. Cause I oh saw uh, Manka Kai channel. was on a while back. Mm -hmm. Ludi's right? always. I think Ludi's the only only That's reason right. we keep getting us like some of the Maybe items. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? I looked well, I do baby. try. But you were with me. Yeah, sometimes um, I do, but I forget. Yeah, I will Finally, drop off for together, like a week Kyrie. or two. But I do try yeah, uh, to, to get jump in mm -hmm. as often as possible. Be the same I actually enjoy playing this. Mm -hmm. It's just that I do tend to fall asleep really easily. Yeah, I also forget. Like, it's just like forgetting. 
I was lost in the darkness. By the way, if anyone's I curious, find my way. I had I a really bad dark, habit of I falling in the middle of raid bosses. Yeah. The uh, almost swallowed me. Especially then, I heard a voice. Um, in Your voice. Omega raid bosses. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Remember the fortress crap? Remember the fortress crap? The, yeah, when we thought that he it. was a fucking pain in the ass? Our hearts are connected. Cause... And the light from our yeah. hearts broke through the darkness. I saw that light. I think that's what saved me. Honestly, I really do like these two as a, no matter as a how couple. Deep like, the darkness, Sora and Kairi are really adorable. Within. I guess it's more than just a fairy tale. Well, let's go. Like for we can't go. Like as Why far not? as I can tell, it's like it's never because been like about her looks or dangerous. anything. Like they like her for who she is. Like in general. Sora? We made it this far mm -hmm. by sticking together. You can't go alone. Kairi, even if we're apart, we're not alone anymore. Right? I can't help? You'd kind of be in my way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You win. I think after all the time we spent together mm -hmm. in your heart, Hotel Sorafornia is like now sure like I'm gonna back to me. Oh. Don't worry, I will. Promise? Not that she'd be in your way. It's like Promise. it's not that she'd be in your way, it's that you'd be too busy like saying, Kyrie! Stop jumping forget. in! Wherever you go. Cause I'm she would fight everything. She see she sees <laughs> she sees a hard list, she'll try to fight it. With her bare hands. That's what he meant when she'd be in the way. It's more like they need they need Riku to like mom like you know mom friend overdrive. Is this the afterworld? Riku! Here's another final mix scene. I'm not ready. Not yet. Not until I see Sora and Kyrie. See Sora and Kyrie, both of them. The OT3 is alive and well. I have the other keyblade. This is Mickey, by the way. Jesus, though, like, he, he doesn't even have a keyblade here, but this place must be super fucking oppressive on your, like, entire, your entire being. Like, Aqua's been in here for, like, 10 to 11 fucking years, and, like, Rick is only here for, like, a while, and, like, holy hell. You know, I think we we're kind. Of, I think we we're all super fortunate that Riku didn't be didn't like become a heartless and get a nobody because like holy hell, can you imagine Riku as a nobody, guys? That'd be like fucking terrifying because like if you don't give him to freaking Zemnis, like no. See who keys and true heart. Maybe you're here for the same reason I am. Maybe it was fate. And I can't do a de goddamn decent Mickey voice. Fate, huh? You seem to know everything. You tell me. Sora and Kairi okay? He's always so worried about them! I just... If there's one thing I love about in this entire series is that you can tell the relationship, like, everything about it. My boy is gay! And he wants to save his girlfriend and boyfriend. They're date mates. The non-binary Destiny Islands trio.